Hi Aries, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. Okay, let's see what comes out. Ooh, sun card. Aries, yes. Okay, I'm loving it. This is of course for Aries, sun, moon, or rising, and as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with an Aries and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind, these are general readings, and if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. I appreciate it so, so much. Aries. All right. I love it. Okay, get go. Right out the gate, we've got the sun card and the strength card. Things are looking good. Actually, okay, and there's your energy. We've got the Knight of Wands, okay? I think that you are starting to, like, see the sun. Actually, I want to say that you could be traveling somewhere, okay? I think, quickly, um, you're... You could be traveling to a more sunny location, okay? But there's something here about... Um, you moving you moving in a different direction and it's going to be like a fill me up you know it's really going to rejuvenate you it's gonna uh like strengthen you right and i feel like you could be moving away from someone it could be another fire sign that you're dealing with maybe a leo i wouldn't be surprised with strength the sun and the knight of wands also could be another aries or a sag it doesn't have to be. There also could be a strong, like, passionate connection that you have with another person. So let me see what comes out here. But I think that you are going to be going to, at least you're planning for it, to maybe, like, move somewhere different or you're going on vacation or traveling somewhere. So let's see what comes out here. Let's see. This is positive, though. I love this. Okay. And get for Aries. Ooh, Hermit. All right, there we go. Oh, Aries. Okay, there is someone in that's. <laughs> I think someone else got this too. Someone in and out of your life, and I think for a while you've been disconnected from this person. Okay, you guys haven't been talking. This can be friend, family, lover, however it applies. I don't make up what comes out. This is just what happens. And I'm also seeing it in the energies. So this is how it is. So Aries, there, I think things are on the verge of going really positive for you. Some, um, you could have been maybe in a mode for a time where you've really been cautious about your money and what you're spending. You've been spending more time like focusing on yourself, focusing on like accomplishing your goals in a monetary way, okay? And so it's kind of like someone's just coming in and out of your life. Ooh, but look at this. Okay, we've got the Nine of Cups. You've been working really hard towards your, maybe some type of dream or something that you've been wanting to manifest. And maybe it is you moving to a place, it, but this even could just be you focusing on your positivity, okay? Let me see what else comes out here. Do you know what I want to say too? I know I'm all over the place, but I think I'm picking up a couple different things here. There could be someone, Aries, in your life that you, it's a very positive connection between the two of you. Okay, see the two right there? There's someone in your life that I feel like understands you, you know, maybe understands. And maybe you guys, because actually this feels very positive. You guys come in and out of each other's lives. And it's one of those connections where um, even the time apart, like when you come back together, it's one of those ones where it's like you've never been apart. The conversation is just very easy and it flows between the two of you. Okay, here's what's interesting. I feel like, in a way, you guys are wanting to be closer or wanting to be together more. You're wanting to almost close the gap, okay? That's what I'm wondering if the wish and dream is to actually come together and be a little bit more, you know, strengthen the connection or really, like, 
you see for each other that there's like some you can trust each other to as much of an extent as you can as a human right you guys are kind of like it, it's like almost the universe is bringing the connection it it you guys take time apart you focus on yourselves but when you come back together there's all this positivity and you guys really enjoy spending time together and over time it's strengthening the connection so that's where I feel like what's interesting, you have the death card coming out. I think that um, you guys are both going through some type of transformation or putting an end to something in your life that's causing the both of you to be similar in this way. Do you know what I mean? Both of you could be the type where, you know what I mean? You guys aren't clingy. You don't like reach out to, e to each other constantly, but it's also because there's something about the trust in that that you guys you know you know you're so similar in that way do you know what i mean i hope i'm making sense but oh interesting yeah okay moon card okay this person okay they're putting an end to things and they might not totally be both of you are figuring things out and do you know with this moon card i actually feel like you guys come back together in some type of planetary cycle or a moon cycle do you know what i mean it's like it brings the connection back because there's some type of transformation that comes in with each time you guys come together okay it's really interesting it could be a cancer also that you're dealing with just throwing that out there if that applies maybe a Virgo, but I think that it's really interesting. Now, again, use your discernment. If this is a narcissist, maybe not go back there, <laughs> but there, this is a very special connection and you're going to know how it applies because when you're around them, you feel very positive. You feel like you can trust them. You feel like um, they're going to have your back. You know, I think that it's moving, especially with that Nine of Cups. It's like you guys have similar dreams and wishes and it makes you feel positive around one another. Do you know what I mean? Let me grab one more card. Because I actually feel like the connection is going to be coming closer very soon. Like whether you guys like partner up or become some type of collaborate in some way if this isn't romantic like maybe it's just something where you guys are starting to come together and maybe like you're putting an end to certain things so this even could be there's transformation coming from an end of patterns okay but there's something here also the moon is subconscious patterns so there's something about where uh, like maybe both of you are putting an end to some type of pattern or connections in your life. I don't know what it is. Let me see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. That's what I was saying. One or both of you has felt stuck in some area, all right? There's the hanged man, and that's what's coming to an end. I think you guys might also both be coming to some cycle close where you both felt stuck or you felt like tied to maybe specific people okay the death card but it's really interesting what i'm seeing with the seven of pentacles i think that the relationship is beginning to bloom there's some type of perspective shift that has come in for one or both of you and now the relationship is going to start taking off with that you know the po the positivity it's like you guys are meant to be in some way shape or form working with one another because i think that when you guys get together there's almost like um you guys are so similar you know you share a lot in common and you guys might be working towards similar things you know similar goals so you have all these things in common and you might have even been able to see that when you first met this person the conversation just came really easy like it was very um easy to talk to them and but again, maybe you two weren't really ready to have like 
a stable friendship or connection. So it's like you guys bounced right out of each other's lives, but you've still kept in contact in some way, shape or form. But there were some lessons that you guys were both going through and learning from so you could get some perspective shifts so that maybe even both of you were working on money, monetary gains, you know what I mean? Because yeah, there's something that you guys have both been working towards as far as manifesting your dreams and wishes. Okay, Aries, I know this is so specific, but I'm going to dive into the extended because I think there's going to be more coming out with the connection. So if you guys want to join me, go ahead down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you on the other side. But Aries, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you so much love, wishing all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.